Yes, so hello everyone. I hope you are doing good. My name is Rohit Gautam and today I have started to create a series on subdomain enumeration because I have seen a lot of requests from a lot of people. They are doing me DM inbox on LinkedIn messages and all of them are requesting to do subdomain enumeration because I also think this is one of the most important step for your recon, which is when you are going to increase your scope, you should know how to do better subdomain enumeration. Obviously, there are many tools that are there already into the open source community that you can utilize for doing subdomain enumeration. So I thought, why not start a series on tools wherein I will show you various tips and tricks to find subdomains for many targets and you can increase your score. And at the end of the series, I will be doing a comparison for all the tools that we will, we will be seeing and we will determine some of the tools to be the best for us on various parameters. Parameters can be speed, number of results that we are getting into the output, less number of false positives and number of resolved domains. All right. So with this, for today's video, we are going to use FFUF or you can also call it as FUF, which is first faster you fool. So we are going to use this tool to identify subdomains for our target. All right. So first thing, what I have done is I have created some subdomains recently for this video. And I'm going to identify these subdomains from FFUF. Remember, this tool is very, very good for fuzzing. And for those who are not aware about FFUF, you really need to use this tool. It is very good and it's much faster than other tools which are used for fuzzing like WFuzz. All right. So first thing first, let's see the installation of FFUF. It's very, very simple. So let me just go to the FFUF GitHub repository. Once you are over here, this tool is written in Go, whereas WFuzz is written in Python. So here we have a added advantage of speed and concurrency because of which it makes this tool much more faster. All right, so the best thing is you can download a pre-built binary already for your current distribution. So if you scroll down, you will be able to see number of options over here, starting from Linux, FreeBSD, Mac OS or Windows OS. The, the installation is pretty self-explanatory after this. You just need to download it and it's ready to use. I have already downloaded the Mac OS version and it's ready for me to use. If you do not want the pre-built binaries, you can clone it yourself as well and you can compile it from the source as well. Now, here you can see the usage which is documented to how to use this tool. So there are a lot of options including filters, matches and a lot of general options that you can utilize to use this FFUF tool. Most of the fuzzing techniques and options I have already shown into my recon course. So you can see that how to do good fuzzing on targets. Now let's get back to the topic, which was subdomain enumeration using FFUF. So the first thing or the first requirement, which is FFUF is installed into a computer. So let's just verify. So once you type the command, you will be able to see the help menu or the usage menu like this. This successfully means that you have installed the tool into your computer. All right. Now, as you can see over here, I'm going to run this particular command. So first let's run this command and then we are going to do a breakdown of this command. So first let's run this and I will hit enter. And you can see it's completed and it has identified some of the subdomains in which is being saved into this file. So let's see the results. And you can see there are some of the subdomains which it has identified, which is Shifa Shopify, Fuzzme, 
new subdomain.sr secure and blocks.srsecure.xyz. Now here's a catch. I was able to identify this subdomain using this FFUF tool, but I was not able to identify this subdomain using different tools like sublister or find domain, etc. Why? Because this subdomain was not crawled immediately by the DNS resolvers. And here I was able to identify this subdomains by doing a brute force. So basically what are we doing? We are brute forcing the word list that you can see over here, which contains the words and we are brute forcing it over here. So let's break down this command to understand how did we got this results. All right. So the first thing is FFUF itself and hyphen U flag, which is used to give a URL as you can see over here. And in the URL, we have given a fuzz over here. Now you should know that FFUF expects a fuzz keyword and wherever it finds a keyword that is fuzz, it starts replacing the word list keywords there. So here we have given a fuzz over here, which means all the words from the word list, which is shifa.txt will be replaced over here. Now, if you want to give a word list, then you have to give the flag hyphen W. So this is self explanatory. This was understood. Now, if you want to use a good word list, I recommend some of the very good word list that you can use. So first you can use a very good word list, which is given by first DB. So this is a very, very good word list. You can use second word list, which you can use is by seclist. So just go to seclist and you will be able to use this seclist word list. It is very, very good for fuzzing. And I myself has identified a lot of sensitive information for many targets using the seclist fuzzing word list. You can also use JSON Haddix all.txt it is also very very good and it has turned out to be very useful for many of them so you can utilize all.txt which is given over here and you can use this word list also i have identified to use this word list and it is very very good so thanks to the security researcher who has compiled this word list for brute force where you can find it over here into the brute force list for API for in case your target is running onto a EC2 instance, you can brute force this git config K eight keys pull in case it is a WordPress target. So you can brute force this as well. Now all this word list are for fuzzing. If you want to use a word list for identifying subdomains, you can use jadex all.txt or else you can also use dig.txt. This is also very, very good. And it has helped to identify a lot of hidden subdomains. All right. Now, after you know which all word list you can utilize, you can use anyone from that. For this video, I have created a custom word list. Let me show you how does it looks like. And it looks like something like this, which contains a bunch of keywords that FFUF is going to use to brute force the things. And we are able to identify the subdomains. Let's get back here. Now, when we get this output, we are going to get an output, which looks something like this. If I remove it from here and we get output something like this. This is because we have added an extra hyphen V at the end, which is to show the verbose output. And you can see the verbose output over here. Now it has identified the first keyword Shifa Shopify blogs fuzz me and new subdomain is resolvable and it gives 200. Okay. Now this is the complete URL, which you can see. So we only want the URLs from this. So what we are going to do is we are going to grab URLs as you can see over here till here. So now we are going to get the results, which looks something like this, which contains only the URLs. Now we do not want this part as well. 
So what we are going to do is we are going to use AWK and we want the first, second, third, fourth. We want the fourth part. So we are going to write AWK print four and hit enter. So we are able to get the fourth part. Remember, if you type here AWK two, then you will get the second part, which is the URL. All right. So now we have the URLs. Next thing that we are going to do is from this URLs guys, you can save this output as well, but there are some limitations on tools which do not like the protocol being added like HTTP or HTTPS. So in case you want to remove that, then you can use com the command which is SED and then HTTP or HTTPS. And then basically we are escaping it, which is the double slash and we are going to save the output in a file called as ffuftings.txt. If you want to see what are the domains that are going to get saved, you can just T it and you will be able to see what's happening in the background. All right. So this is how we identify subdomains using FFUF. I hope you guys understood and this may turn out to be helpful for every one of you when you want to do subdomain brute forcing using the fastest tool out there, which is FFUF. Thank you.